hello guys welcome back to the channel uh today we're going to be working on a friend of mine's wd-45 uh, gas um, did a little tune up to it have an issue getting it started so we're going to check out the uh, electrical system put a new battery on it and um, try to get this thing going for him so you can see it right here in the background nice little 45 narrow front nice tires on it um, overall it looks like a pretty good tractor so we're going to get started on this and figure out what we have going on with it and uh, get the muffler back on it. Check out the charging system, make sure that it's good and uh, get this thing back where he can use it. All right, so I got the uh, new battery hooked up and then I checked the back side of the instrument panel just to make sure that I had power there, which I do. Turn the switch on. And back here at the coil, just checking to make sure that I got voltage present there, which I do. So the coil's hot, the coil is new. Um, so spun the tractor over, everything spins freely. So the next step we'll, we'll do is, um, I'm just gonna make sure that I'm getting spark to the plugs. So I'll put a, a spark plug adapter on there and we'll go through and check each of those and that will prove that I got my points and everything uh, good. And then really the only thing to do at that point is to make sure that I've got fuel. Um, I know over here looking at the sediment bowl, we've got, or either out of fuel or there's some water present up there in the top of it. So what I plan on doing there is we'll just pull the line off right here at the carb uh, actually, we could just pull the plug down here at the carburetor and drain it and just let all that kind of cycle through there, make sure we got good fuel in it. And uh, then we'll just give it a try, see what happens, so. All right, so back on the uh, repair here on this 45 gas, uh, I pulled the bottom plug out of the carburetor to just make sure I was getting fuel and I didn't have anything. So I moved over to the sediment bowl Saw a little bit of stuff in it, nothing crazy. So when I looked inside the tank with a flashlight, this is what I found. Uh, it was, it's got a hole visible in it now, but it was completely plugged um, as well, the bottom side. So it's gonna need a new sediment bowl. We'll get that thing, get it put on there, and then we should have good fuel flow. Uh, still have an issue with spark at the moment. So I'll trace that down here shortly, figure out what we've got going on with that. And then, uh, then we should be good to go. We should have fuel, we should have spark, and it should fire. So we'll keep going. All right, so I'm back uh, to the shop here. I had to make a parts run real quick. The sediment bowl on this 45 was completely plugged. Um, I've knocked a little bit of that out, but uh, it started dripping just a little bit and then it quit. So I pulled the uh, bowl off of it and discovered what I had and um, also looked in the tank, saw it was covered, <clears throat> the hole was covered up. So I went, got a new sediment bowl. I've already moved the uh, nine degree elbow and the plug. And I've got a little bit of this, uh, just called great white uh, pipe joint compound. It's good for gas. And uh, just went ahead and put that right on the threads. And you can immediately use it right after this. So I've got that prepped and ready to go on the tractor. So I've also got um, the points uh, squared away now. I had to reset the gap, put a new condenser in there, but they're good. So I've cleaned, cleaned off the neck here. And basically we're just gonna put this uh, new bowl on here. And just get it threaded in. All right, that's better. So I got it started now. Looks like it's an 18 millimeter. Probably gonna get one more revolution out of this thing and then we should be good. Yeah, it's snugging up nicely now. All right. So we got that squared away and we'll just make the lines back up and then we're ready for some fuel. All right, so we got the 45 uh, tuned up here. Uh, got new condenser in it. Already a new coil on it, new sediment bowl. Uh, I've cleared the lines out. I've got 
spark to my spark plugs. I checked the gap on the plugs and everything looks good. So this will be the first startup in several years. Um, so we'll get her going here and see what she does. So quick update, uh, you saw I had it running, uh, shut it down. You know, I was checking the manual on the adjustments on the carb and I went to fire it back up and I, I've either got a starter drive gear that's spun out or I've got a bad spot in the uh, green gear on the flywheel. So I'm gonna pull the starter out of here and see what I've got. But uh, I tried rocking it, putting gear, trying to rock it to move it uh so i get a better spot on the ring gear and that still didn't work so i think i may have a starter drive gear issue uh we'll find out here in just a second but um we'll go ahead and pull that thing off and see what we got here's the starter hit like and subscribe and leave a comment below and make sure you turn on your notification bell so that each time a new video is posted you'll be notified